Okay. Now, first we create a variable, call it ID3. Of what type? ID3 info. So let me go and check what this ID3 info class does. ID3 info. The ID3 info class contains properties that reflect ID3 metadata. So metadata is basically extra information contained within a song, like the songwriter's name and the song singer's name and the guitarist's name and the year in which the album was released and so on. And you can get additional metadata for MP3 files by accessing the ID3 properties of the sound class. Now this only works if there is metadata into your, in your MP3 file. Not always do you save a file and it has metadata in it. But normally, when you copy a song out of a CD, a proper music CD that you buy in a shop, Every song would have some sort of metadata related to it, which gives you more information about what that song, where that song comes from, and so on. Okay, so we create a new variable of that ID3 info type, and we use this parameter evt.target. What is its target? The target of this method is, let me check. Where is the target of this? This is load progress. This is show info. Let me check where show info comes from. Yes, the target is here. Playback. Okay. We go back to it using evt dot target here, and we try to get the value id3 value of the sound class. Okay. So id3 is a sound class property. If you go to the sound class here. One of its properties is the ID3 property. Provide, it's only a read-only value because it only allows you to read what information has been stored into the song. It says, provide access to the metadata that is part of the MP3 file. So basically, we create a variable that can read this information and then a property that accesses it. Okay, fine.